So a chronograph that can do more than just measure speed, but can actually calculate the distance of a coming storm? Yes, please. So let's go take a look at Seahome's Flats Chronograph. Let's go. And here is Seahome's Flats Chronograph. And I am really excited about this watch because I think there is so much more than meets the eye. But before I continue with the review portion of the flats, I wanted to share the three tenets that Seahome built their watches around. And the first tenet is that it's anti-magnetic, which means the movement is nestled inside an iron case. The second tenet is that it is water resistant to 200 meters. Okay, all right, that's a nice level of depth for water resistance, but it's not fantastic. We've seen that uh, 200 meters of water resistance on a lot of dive watches. But what Seahome believes and what they emphasize is that the quality of water resistance is not created equally. And according to Seahome, they conducted independent tests that showed condensation and corrosion on other watches after repeated exposure to water and none on theirs. And this includes a very popular and beloved dive watch, one that is out of reach for us today. And I was asked not to share that particular brand, so I can't, but I thought that was really interesting. And I was actually kind of surprised that that particular dive watch suffered uh, condensation and corrosion. And the third tenet is that it is shock resistant, which means there is a ring of iron that holds the movement inside a capsule and there are viscoelastic materials around the movement. And I know that sounds really fancy and I actually had to read up on that to learn about that. And there is interesting information on Seahome's website. So if we wanna learn more about that, we might wanna make our way over there. So what does this all mean? Well, according to the ISO standard for shock resistance from a 10 foot drop, uh, the deviation of time accuracy is 60 seconds a day to meet ISO standard. But for Seahome, that same 10 foot drop showed a zero time deviation. So I think these three tenets are what really separate Seahome watches from a lot of other watches. The flat chronograph is in 41 millimeters, 49 millimeters from lug to lug, wait for it, 16.05 millimeters tall. But that's also because it includes the 2.7 millimeters thick domed sapphire crystal. So if we take away the domed sapphire crystal, we're looking at 13.35 millimeters tall, which is quite acceptable. But I also don't think the flats wears chunky at all. And it's in a 21 millimeter lug width. And the first thing that I noticed about the flats is a striking dial. It has this really nice brushed texture to it, which is consistent with the solid case back in that really nice brushed texture and we'll show more uh, on the case back a little later on. The three registers are at three, six, and nine. The 60 seconds uh, uh, part of the watch is at three o'clock because they use the central seconds hand as a stopwatch function. Um, and you know, instead most chronographs are used to measure speed. Uh, for a lot of us that is not the most practical, although it looks pretty cool. In the case of the flats chronograph, as the name suggests, flats chronograph, it is used uh, to measure miles and distance on land. So here they have the screws for, for the pushers here. Uh, let me unscrew those. And before I get into more detail about that, uh, the crown is signed in a really cool way. It has Seahome wrapped around that center dimple instead of just a logo on there. So the top pusher uh, will control the time uh, and we'll, we'll see that in action. Very smooth and very responsive. Stop, start, stop. And if we want to reset it, it's the bottom pusher. We'll reset it. So at the top of the video, I said that uh, it could save our lives from uh, bad weather conditions. And that's uh, actually true because what uh, this can do is that it measures the time. Um, so for example, with thunder, if we hear thunder, we can measure the time where we hear or see lightning. And according to safety standards, if the thunder and lightning are within five seconds, we're supposed to get the heck out of there. So that actually comes in pretty handy. And you can see along the chapter ring, it says telemeter in miles and it has the full 60 minute uh, hash marks on the bezel insert. And let me just screw this, screw these back in. And I wanted to talk and share uh, information about this bezel because it has to be 
one of the best I've seen. I will preface that by saying this may not be music to our ears, the way that we get a lot of that clicky sensation from a lot of bezels uh, from the turn action, and that's something that I also do like. A lot of us like that the clicking action, but uh, I'll explain what I mean. So here we go. So while it is audible, it isn't as audible as what we might be used to, but I can tell you that this has to be the tightest and yet smoothest turn action of any bezel that I've come across. You can see here that there is zero, absolutely, let me hold the watch firmly in place, zero play here. Usually uh, I would say that uh, if a bezel is really good that I would say that has zero or next to zero play. In the case of the flats, there is zero. Look at that. I mean, this this has to be a 10 out of 10. Um, it has this nice blue uh, bezel insert with the black dial, but the Seaholm also comes in all black. And while I'm talking about this bezel insert because I just raved about it, uh, I do have to point out that it is aluminum. Uh, although you can't tell, I, I was not able to tell that myself. I thought it was maybe sapphire possibly ceramic there is just no telltale sign it's there's just no giveaway that this is aluminum most of the time we can always spot an aluminum insert because of the texture uh, at the same time i might have to if i'm nitpicking and i have to look for some kind of flaw uh on the flat which um, was really difficult for me to do it would have to be the use of aluminum because as tough and as rugged as this watch is it's just a little bit odd a choice that they would use aluminum because it is a softer metal. I would have preferred uh, ceramic or even sapphire. Though this looks really nice and they did a really nice job with the with the blue uh, and and the action of the the turn action. Aluminum would not have been my first choice. And here is the presentation the flats comes in in this nice metal tube with uh, their branding and this texture uh, on the top and bottom. And then when we unscrew it. We get a compass, which is a pretty cool touch because sea homes are meant to be these outdoor rugged watches. So having a compass in there is, is a nice touch. Uh, and then inside the tube comes a genuine leather pouch that holds our watch. And it comes with an extra NATO strap with a tool to adjust our bracelet. So, you know, I don't think that this metal tube is meant to hold or meant to be like a thermos. When I ask Seaholm, it's not meant to hold any liquids. But, you know, we could probably hold a few snacks in here or a first aid kit. It's just a unique presentation. If we're wondering how Seaholm got its name, is it named after the owners of the brand? Well, it is not. It's actually named after Walter Seaholm as, as a tribute because he actually designed a bomb-proof electrical building in Austin, Texas, which is where Seaholm watches are headquartered, uh, which makes sense because this watch is virtually built uh, to withstand a lot. And, and that bomb-proof building is now used to house retail stores and it's considered a landmark in Austin, Texas. The finishing on the flats is done mostly in a brushed finishing with some polished on the pushers and it looks like somewhat on the uh, edge of the bezel. And interestingly, while the brushed work is really well done, nice and smooth, it looks like, well, at least on the bracelet, right? And then on the side of the case, it looks like it's a little bit raw, but it's not. It's actually very smooth, very well done. It just contrasts a little bit differently uh, with the brushed work on a bracelet. And I haven't seen a watch with two different uh, types of brushed finishes. And I actually quite like that a lot. So let's talk about the bracelet. There is a Seaholm uh, name, uh, the branding, and their logo there. So we open the first flap to get to the second, and there's a good look of the solid case back where it says Seaholm Anti-Magnetic Anti-Shock Divers 200 Meters, which are basically the three tenets that I talked about at the top of the video. So what is the movement that is powering the flats chronograph? Well, it is powered by the ETA 2894 with 42 hours of power reserve. And the retail price of the flats is $3495. And I can already hear some people chirping that for $3,500, I could get this, that, or the other. And that's fair, and that's true. But if we're looking for a chronograph that doesn't quite look like uh, a lot of other chronographs and, and is certainly not made 
like a lot of other watches because it is superior uh, in quality and, and craftsmanship, then I think the the Seahome Flats will not disappoint us. Certainly it's not a watch for everyone, mainly because of the price point. But if we're looking for something that is different and extremely well crafted, then I think the Flats is a really great option. Never get caught in a storm again. And thanks for joining me. I'll see you the next time. The Sea Lion is in 41... Um, sea Lion? Sea Home? The Sea Home is in 41... And if we look at the bracelet, there's their branding where it says home run. See home, home run. Well, it is baseball season, but it does say see home. Come on, man, get it together. So let's get a loom shot. Well, we can't because there is another lamp, so yeah.